Let's set the stage. They wanted to build LLMs that could analyze the pass accurately, right? But how do you train a super smart AI when you can only feed it the information that was actually available at a specific moment in history? Right. It's a bit like trying to teach someone about the internet, but they can only read books published before, say, 1995. It seems almost impossible. Yeah, like how do you get the insights without the unfair advantage of hindsight? What was their big breakthrough, their, their secret sauce, so to speak? Well, they had a pretty ingenious idea. Instead of building one giant LLM that knows everything, they decided to create a whole family of them, each one representing a specific year in time, like snapshots of AI knowledge. Oh, like a time capsule of LLMs. Kind of cool, actually. Exactly. And they named them Chronobert and ChronoGPT. They started way back in 1999, imagine that, and built a model for each year up to 2024. And the key here is that each model was trained exclusively on text data that was available up to the end of that specific year. So like Cronenberg 1999, that model can only access information that existed before the year 2000 rolled in. It's like a digital historian frozen in time. Precisely. No peeking into the future allowed. But hang on, I can already see a few problems popping up. For starters, training so many different models, each with a specific knowledge cutoff, that must have taken a ridiculous amount of computing power. Oh, you're absolutely right about that. And then there's the issue of data itself. Think about it. The amount of digital text available back in, say, 1999, it was a drop in the ocean compared to what we have today. 